when last we saw you on Mayhem, you guys had just released an album. You had the whole concept, and since then, you guys have taken off. Yeah, it's been great. I mean, it's, it's just a privilege to be asked back to a tour like this uh, a second time. You know? Can't ask for more than that, you know? Is it? I mean, are, do you feel like we're back at Mayhem, or do you feel like, yeah, back at Mayhem? I mean, not only do I feel like we're back at Mayhem, but I feel like, you know, the, our, there's, a, there's a significant growth in the band's size that we've, that we've you know, been working for. And it's really showing. I mean, this is only day two, and both shows have been incredible, you know? So it's like, it just makes you feel that, that kind of sense of accomplishment that you're working forward, you know? So if we came back and it was, like, not cool, then it'd be like, well, what have we been doing the last two years, you know? This is a progression with Mayhem and not, uh, not a, a standing still. Right, right. I like to think so. I mean, the signings are way longer. The crowds are bigger. You know, the, the, the singing is louder. Everything about it is bigger. So we're happy, you know. Now, when I talked to you before, you said that the concept was a management idea. But you guys have grown a lot since then. Um, where are the ideas coming from now? Uh, you know, I don't know anymore. <laughs> Just going. <laughs> And we try to do the silliest thing, you know, so we, whatever's going to get us attention, we're ready for it, you know. You're just going to take everything and throw it against the wall. That's what, that last time I checked, we were in the entertainment business, so if we're not entertaining, then I don't know what we're really doing, you know. I'm okay with it. So on the festival, who is it that you guys are excited to see every day or hang out with every day? Uh, Corn. I don't know if we're going to hang out, but... Probably not, but uh, no, you know, oh, why not? that's some of the guys in the band's like favorite band, like you know, and um, Avenge is uh, obviously a, a, a monster of a band, and they're, they're great every, at everything they do. So I'm, I'm excited to tr try to see them almost every night if I can, if not every night. Uh, Body Count, sweet. I just met Ice T for the first first time yesterday and today, and and he's really taking a liking to our band. So it's in, it's incredible to see somebody at that status like what you do you know it's like it's just really I, I don't even know the word it's just really cool you know I'd be like Ice T knows my name exactly yeah well I don't know if you I wouldn't go that far yet <laughs> he doesn't know my name I don't think but but, he's heard of you. but he watches our shows so the first yesterday he watched today he watched came up and talked to me so you know George Fisher from Cannibal Corpse said the same thing. He's like, Ice-T came up to me and talked to me. It's like, he, he knows Cannibal Corpse. Really, yeah. He's a nice guy. I mean, so far, I mean, I, you know, you, you, I guess you would think Ice-T and, you, you know, you get that he's a really, really tough guy, you know, like from the streets and stuff like that. And you would expect one thing, but I mean, he's just, he, so far, he's just the nicest guy. I mean, I still wouldn't want to ever see him upset, <laughs> but, uh, but while he's happy, I'm glad to be around, you know. He's had a day job for a while, too, I think. Right, right. I mean, he's a, he's, he's, he's a big deal. Let's be real. He's a big deal. And for him to like our band is, is great for me. So that, that, I think, so far has been the highlight of, of Mayhem for me, to have him know and enjoy what we do. Now, you guys have been touring, uh, headline touring and club touring extensively before Mayhem. Usually bands hit Mayhem and then do the headline tour. So are you guys going to go into writing an album mode after this? Uh, we actually just wrote a record. And it's the pre-orders just went up now, so uh, go to our website, you know, our Facebook or whatever, and um, and, and you, you'll you'll see the pre-orders and the and the sites and everything to go and order it. So hopefully everybody orders it, not steals it. If they steal it, buy merch at the show. Yeah. We'll call it a day. Come to the show. Come to the show and buy something. Yeah. Has that been a challenge uh, trying to figure out ways to like make fans happy, make them not feel like they're stealing from you, but still be like, come on, man, buy our stuff. You know, to me, I, I say it in every interview, and I, I, I'm going to say it again. I, mean, I don't think it's right to steal from anybody, you know what I mean? So to take an album that, you know, you didn't pay for is, is kind of crappy, but it changes because these kids sort of, it's just the way it is now, and people find out about you because of that. And so if, that, if that's what it takes to come to a show and, you know, I'm sure they'll, if they really like the band, they'll buy shirts. Or I've had people come up and say, hey, I, I downloaded your record illegally, but I'm going to buy it now. I came to the show, I watched the show, I love it, and I'm going to buy it now. And so it's, it's, it's okay for me, you know, but 
I mean, at the end of the day, you, you don't want anybody to steal your record. You want everybody to buy it, like in the old days, you know what I mean? And it just organically will grow like that, but that's not the world we live in now, so there's no use in complaining about it. You just got to figure out how, how you're going to still survive off of other ways, and you know, you hope that merch does that for you. Well, and that seems to have spawned a new culture of the re-release and the reissue and right. the extended version and the DVD and, and et cetera, et cetera. Have you guys reached that level of like we're putting something out again? No, we, we haven't. We haven't done the DVD thing, although we've wanted to. It's just, you know, we're a band that really has not, until recently, has not really had like uh, much crew. You know, we kind of keep it cheap and we just, you know, do the tours in the van and save money and, and stuff like that. But I would like to think that we're getting there to where if we wanted to do that now, we, we might be able to. So after the album release, you guys are going to keep touring then, do another headline run or maybe a support run, do you know? We have some support runs. I don't think they're released yet, so you know how that is where I can't, you know. Right. Um, but we have some support tours that are sweet, and then we're, we're, we're going to, you know, I would, I would love to headline hopefully early next year if we can, something like that. So the new album, because um, I know you, I follow you on Instagram. I know. And your life has changed a lot in the last year. Right. Is that in the album now? It is. You know, there's a lot of emotions. And the thing is, is that there's no, like, movie theme or, or whatever that we were doing before on this record. So I was able to say what I really wanted to say. And I haven't been able to for a long time. So this one's really special for me in, in, in that regard where I... I, I mean what I say in almost, you know, in, in every song on this one, you know, because you get, you get caught in this, like, I got to kind of go with the vibe of this movie, and I can't really be inspirational with a song called, you know, Planet Terror or something, you know, which, whatever whatever it would be. But this, all my own t titles, you know, that, that, and, and everything like that, so this one's special to me. Nothing new, but for us, it's a, it's, it's, it's a brand new thing, you know. Was the writing process collaborative, or did guys kind of bring in their own songs and you put them together? How'd that work? It was very collaborative, and um, and we all kind of just really, you know, worked hard. Especially Ruben, he, he, you know, he killed himself writing songs. You know, he 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 brings so many songs to the table, and you know, although they don't all get used, that that's the business, and, and it is what it is. But I think he's happy that a lot of his songs did get used, and. Uh, and then I just came in vocally and, and tried to do the best I could, and and he helps out with vocals too. So he's a he's just a busy monster. <laughs> he's always trying to write something. Well, and you know, you guys might need to do some reissues later on, and he's got those songs in the bank, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're still good songs. They're just at this time, it was like let's just do these, you know. You guys just don't see any end in sight. It's going to be tour, 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 and you're going to run right into the next album, which is almost half written now. I hope so. You know, I mean, I. I hope so. I, I, I love doing what I do, and I can only hope to grow. And and tell people when and where they can catch you at Mayhem this summer. Let's see. Uh, we're on the Sumerian stage, so it's usually next to the Coldcock stage. And uh, our time rotates, so just be, be prepared to come in and uh, take a look at the list and know. Because, like, yesterday we played, like, at 3. Today we played at 150. So I guess you don't really know. But uh, no matter what time, hey, you know, should be a good time, hopefully. Get here early for free music. Yeah, yeah, just get here early. <laughs>